Hey guys, how's it going? Tiz back again with episode number 10 of the Spurs career mode. We're into double figures and we're also into the second round of fixtures in the group stage of the Europa League. As you can see, we sat top of the table after that those two draws actually against Malmo, who we're playing today, and against Kuban Krasnodar, the Russian side, in the last game in the Europa League. But we're at home against Malmo after drawing 1-1 away from home against them earlier on in the season. And uh, Chadley is going to get us off to a great start. I thought the move had died there as the uh, momentum of the move kind of slowed down as Chadley cut inside that final defender. What I, I love that celebration, but at the same time, it's just fucking ridiculous. But uh, anyway, we went 1-0 up and into the second half. As you'll be able to tell from the title in this one, there are, uh, there are three games involved, as always. And they're all extremely close, low-scoring uh, low scoring encounters. But uh, with very few chances as well, this actually was Malmo's best effort all game and uh, yeah that kind of sums up the uh, the sort of game that this one was against Malmo we've got a fantastic chance here to make it two Defoe with a good shot Kapu with the overhead kick and uh, unfortunately for him there is the defender in the way to get his face in front of the shot and uh, it stops it from going into the back of the net but not to uh, not to worry we did take a 1-0 win from that and we are going to still remain top of the group in the Europa League with just two games remaining. We come into the next game of the uh, the episode and as you can see we are third in the table a game in hand on Manchester City but Arsenal have a game in hand on us but we're in a decent position after uh, after the opening 10 games of the season you know we're doing well we're certainly Champions League spot which is what the board expects of us but you know if we could get a victory not a victory if we could get a, uh, a or challenge for the league title then that would be absolutely superb and somehow we don't score there Tim Krull makes a couple of fantastic saves especially that last one from Alaba to be able to get back up onto his feet to make the third save is absolutely superb and Dembele holds off the, uh, the attentions of Debussy there and again Tim Krull comes to the rescue and of course in the snow the ball unfortunately just bounces out of play and uh, there isn't a chance from the second phase but Johan Kabay's delivery is superb for that one absolutely glorious ball in from that dead ball and uh, Ben Arthur really should have done better with that one as Hugo Lloris stretches but can't quite get there but doesn't need to get there as it goes past the far post and uh, we went in at half time at 0-0 so uh, decent but as you can see it was pretty much all one way in the uh, in the first half but the first action of the second half is in fact Newcastle having a chance there not really anything in it there's uh, just a header that's well saved but Gutierrez picks the ball up here plays a lovely slightly through ball to Remy who just beats the goalkeeper to the ball and it trickles on underneath him into the bottom corner and uh, we go 1-0 down against the run of play as you, uh, as you may have expected and then we get another chance here Soldado a diving header of sorts but unfortunately again it's blocked by a defender in the way otherwise that was definitely goal bound and we're into the last few minutes and Dembele they just got so many players behind the ball at all times and Soldado just has no other option but to shoot from 25-30 yards and we do end up losing 1-0 so uh, a narrow defeat an unworthy defeat uh, we did a lot better than uh, than the scoreline suggests but unfortunately we get nada from that game but we have an international offer from Northern Ireland and I'm afraid I'm not going to be accepting any international job offers unless it's it's a big country or big nation rather ahead of the uh, the World Cup in 2014 Northern Ireland aren't really going to qualify for that, unfortunately, so uh, I am going to say no to them. But uh, you can see that defeat has dropped us down to fifth in the league. Chelsea have leapfrogged us, as well as now having both Manchester sides above us in the league table. So we are hopefully... We're going to get something out of this Man United game. But as you can see here, two defenders just run into each other. I was so, so furious that that happened. And Shinji Kagawa isn't really seeing much first-team football at all at Man United in real life. Actually gets on the score sheet to put them 1-0 up. But Christian Eriksen is going to play a lovely lofted ball over the top for Jermaine Defoe. Control and shot almost in the save movement from one foot to the other. Left foot sets up the right foot. Really nice half volley into the far bottom corner to bring us back onto level terms. And uh, Defoe and Soldado have been sharing the uh, the the responsibility up top beautifully this season both chipping in with goals as and when they find themselves on the starting lineup or perhaps coming off the bench Defoe has definitely come off the bench added that injection of pace late on in games and given us the uh, the impetus to uh, to go out and get some uh, some more points but as you can see we're now into the 93rd minute and unfortunately for them Nani is offside from that shot but that is literally all that's going to happen in that game it's a 1-1 draw at home against Man United you'll be able to see from the stats that pop up on screen that genuinely was all that happened in that game the Kagawa goal had a block shot and then the goal which is two shots and then that third shot that uh, ended up with Nani being offside was the third shot and of course our shot was our goal so uh, unfortunately 
it's a shorter episode because genuinely nothing happened in any of the three games. So uh, we do sit fifth, as you can see, but it's still very, very tight at the top. We're only three points off top and only three points away from tenth. So it's so, so tight. All to play for as we head into December and getting up towards that January transfer window. So that is going to bring this episode to a close. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind. Of course, feel free to subscribe as well. There will be links in the description and an annotation on screen over that subscribe emblem if you haven't already and of course feel free to check the previous video if you did miss that there will be a link to that on the annotation on screen over the play button but that is going to wrap everything up for this episode thank you very much for watching guys and i will see you next time